My call to ministry was unexpected and unwelcome. Uh, I had been, uh, I'd had a close relationship with God ever since I could remember, but I was almost 40 years old, and being a pastor was not something that uh, I had envisioned for my life. But one day, I was driving down the road, not thinking about anything in particular, and I heard a voice. At least I thought I heard a voice, and the voice said, serve me. And I knew who it was, and I knew what it meant. And I resisted mightily for that. I did not want to be a pastor. But it was like one of those uh, trick birthday candles that you, I would blow it out and it would come back. And I blow it out and it'd come back. And my wife blew it out and it came back and it just wouldn't leave me alone until finally it was so overpowering. I said, yes, okay, whatever you want. And at that point, doors began to open up for me educationally. And uh, I was serving the church within three months of that, of that time. To become a licensed local pastor, you must go through the candidacy process just like our sisters and brothers who are called to ordain ministry. That candidacy process is very interesting and fun. We have to go through a four-hour psychological testing. We have to be analyzed by a clinical psychologist. We also have to have a physical to make sure we're healthy enough to carry out ministry. The educational requirements are different, however. Licensed local pastors must complete five years of course of study. That time frame can be extended depending on whether or not you're appointed to full-time ministry or part-time ministry. We do everything that elders can do. Uh, we marry and bury, uh, we baptize, we serve communion, uh, we preach, um, we do all those things. We can serve on certain committees and boards in the district and conference. But there are some things that we cannot vote on and there's some boards that we cannot sit on. Other than that, uh, we're just pretty much the same. The way I discern my cult ministry uh, after I accepted it, uh, or that you might uh, consider uh, before, is talking to as many pastors as possible and asking them about their call to ministry. Um, calling your district superintendent and letting them know that you're, uh, you're serious about this, about the discernment process, and involve them as much as possible uh, to really search it out and uh, to uh, pray a lot and read a lot. So you're trying to discern if you're called to ministry as a licensed local pastor. The first bit of advice I would give you is listen. Listen with your heart and listen with your mind. Listen to what your friends are saying. Listen to what your family is saying. Listen to what your pastor is saying. Listen to what God is saying. For me, when I knew without a doubt this was my call, was the very first time I walked across the prison yard at the Nebraska State Penitentiary with our very first volunteer. And we walked from turnkey to the chapel. And I remember thinking to myself, what in the world could two middle-aged white women possibly offer to a prison full of inmates? And then came the reassuring voice. You answered my call. You said you would follow where I lead. And here is where I'm leading you. <laughs> 